Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Alden. I'm Drew. And welcome back to FTL. Uh, in the last episode, we went ahead and uh, gave a, sort of an overview. We took a couple of um, took a couple of uh, star sections here, and we're about ready to move on. Um, you missed exactly one thing in the end of the last episode. Uh, we had some damage to our doors. I went ahead and repaired that off screen just so we didn't have to uh, sit here and wait for it today. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in. Alright, um, I don't know that we're gonna... Yeah, I might want to just get the hill up at Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to avoid the uh, rebels there. Alright, so nothing happened. Sometimes things happen here, um, but, oh, actually here. Uh, refueling station, do you want to buy a fuel for scrap? Uh, at 20, you know what, we're going to leave. go ahead and leave it alone. Although, six fuel for 12 scrap, that's two scrap per fuel. That's not a bad deal if you need it, so... Is there a max to how much fuel we can carry? Nope, not at all. Huh, All right. that's interesting. So, bit of a pickle here. Um, you're going to see that this is going to be the uh, sector map. All right, that end sector all the way down there, that's our goal. Um, any sectors that are green, civilian, they're pretty much, uh, you know, they're pretty easy. You can go ahead and use upgrades there. Uh, hostile is going to get you a lot of scrap because you're going to be doing a lot of fights. And then the nebula. Nebula is kind of tricky because um, the... Uh, Rebellion is going to move a lot slower, but uh, Nebula really does a lot of funky things with your ship, so you got to sort of think on your toes. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do Pirate Control Sector rather than Rock Control Sector. Uh, rocks are pretty tough. I don't know that we want to deal with them this early on, so... Pirates seem to be pretty... Uh, seem to go down pretty fast. Yeah, so they're nice. I'm pretty confident in our ability to take out pirates. Exactly, so nothing, nothing going on as uh, we make the jump in, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and uh, deal with this distress call here. Yeah. All right. Looks like uh, looks like pirates are going to you know be uh, taking out this uh, this uh, small asteroid though. So let's go ahead and we can try to shield their ship with ours and escort them out of the field, or don't risk our ship, leave them to our fate. So not risking our ship. I mean that's a, that's a nice thing if you need to you know conserve your hull damage. We're going to try to shield the ship. This could go very well, this could go very badly, so... Oh, alright, we did... Oh, 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 We did take some damage, um... Looks like we did succeed, though. They gave us 30 scrap and 4 fuel. Nice. Oh, that's... that was well worth it. Yeah. So we could easily repair the ship for, uh, less than that. Absolutely. So let's go ahead, we're gonna... I'm thinking, uh, we're gonna go this way, then maybe, you know, down here a bit. Snake around. Snake around. See how long it takes them to catch up. Exactly. Basically, just kiting the rebellion. <laughs> right. Finally, after uh, months of waiting, before I hit continue, though, uh, let's take a look at their ship here. They've got this little icon. This one's new. That is a teleporter. They can beam aboard our ship. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be God, mindful. No. We're gonna be mindful. Yep. They look like they look like they're using it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, oh, we don't have enough power. I'm gonna boot down that. Take this up and basically do the same thing that we always do. But, this is why I invested in the blast doors. This is uh, one of the tougher enemies. Um, the, bug, the bug guys, basically, they, um, they hit harder. Uh, they are not as good as, at repairing or managing systems, but they're, they're basically your fighters. You want to send them in whenever possible. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, smoke them out. <laughs> Open the pod bay doors, Hal. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Dave. Oh, he's going down. Yeah, so he's taking a lot of damage actually, now. He did break through, mm -hmm. but uh, now he's got to get through another door. Exactly. Before he can get to any of us, and he'll be dead long before that. <laughs> Hurry, die! Why does the lack of oxygen kill you? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's going to be taken out. We're good there. Alright, we need to definitely pay attention to uh, the ship combat, though. Uh, we're not doing so hot. We're missing a lot of things. We're going to fire that arc. We're going to see if we can't get that shield all the way down. Nice. And Boosh. let's go ahead and take out their weapons so that they can't fire at us. There we go. Probably boot that down for now. Keep firing there. Now, is there any way we can control where they teleport to? No, no. They're going to teleport to a random square. Usually it's going to be one of the unoccupied squares. Oh. Mm. But that's not always the case. Uh, three. We're good on fuel. Three scrap is pretty good, but... 
13. Destroy their, uh, if we destroy their ship, they could give us more scrap, so. That's. And they were being jerks, and that one dude was banging on the door right next to me. I don't, I don't appreciate that one bit. Exactly. And they'll blow them to Kingdom Come. There we go, so they're fully down. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, prevent <laughs> them from escaping. Yeah, I'm not a kind ship captain. I'm noticing a trend here, actually. <laughs> Oh, and we're good. Let's see what we got? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, we're twenty-two gonna, scrap. Twenty-two scrap. All right. So we're gonna save that for now. Let's make another jump. Oh, is, does this game have uh, a save system, or is it all just one run? It, it is. Um, it is all just one run. I believe we can press, you know, escape and you know, save and quit if we need to. Oh, I see. But you can't have. Well, you can have. Can you have multiple saves? Um, but they're always different worlds. You can, you can, and, and then at the uh, beginning, you can choose to either continue or start a new game. Um, the only thing that really they they ping you for is that if a character dies, or if your ship dies, that is it. You're 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 done. Time to start over. Um, so there is permadeath in this. So if I send you out the cockpit, or if I send you out the uh, airlock, there, I need a new Drew. <laughs> oh, but I like being me. <laughs> So let's see, we, we could probably use something here. Um, uh, power bar is always a good bet. Uh, I don't want to spend too much here because we're not really lacking anything. Um, let's go ahead and get this camera just for old time's sake. We can we can go ahead and uh, accept that. If we do that, then we can now see inside that the uh, enemy ships. So that's, that's, that's a little nice. Yeah. It uh, gives us some idea of what's going on in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so looks like they tried to shut down our engines. You'll see we have one bar disabled. Not too big, uh, uh -huh. big a deal. I wasn't using that bar anyway, but uh, there's that. All right. So that just means we can't allocate that bar to engines. Not necessarily that we're down a bar. Exactly. Exactly. We still have that power power bar. We can use that elsewhere. Uh, in this case, we're going to use it for our Artemis uh, and take down. You know what? We're going to take down the shield. But instead of taking down their weapons here, you're going to see this guy floating around. He's going to be annoying. He's going to keep on trying to shoot. Oh, is that a drone? Yeah. So. Oh, that guy. That is our first uh, first foray into drones. Um, we're actually going to take the drone control out. There we is go. Is there any other way to disable drones other than taking out their uh, drone control? Like, can you do drone-to-drone -drone combat or something? Uh, there are a couple anti-drone drones. There are a couple of anti-shield drones, anti-weapon drones. Um, yeah, it all depends on which ones you buy. Now, these guys are NGs. They're really good at manning, manning systems. They are really bad at combat. Um, but uh, then they are also really, really good at repairing. So, there's that. Yeah, looks like they're going to die soon now. Yeah. I say they were just standing in that room with the fire way too long. Yeah. For the most part, um, in, the, in a lot of the earlier levels, if you take out their shield and then disable their main uh, method of attacking, so for most people it's the, uh, the weaponry, but for the NG ships it's their drones. They're going to jump immediately to try and repair that, so. So might I make a suggestion? Um, we should probably pick up some use for all those drones we have? Yeah, yeah, and this, and this is very much um, the style of play that you want to do. We could definitely do a drone, uh, I guess, boat for lack of a better term. Um, uh, we will need a drone module. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to control the drones. And then we're going to actually need some drones to control. So, well, it looks like we've got uh, five of them there. Right. Well, that, those are going to be just parts. Oh, OK. That's sort of like our drone ammo. Right. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to take this. And the reason being is missiles, we're getting a little low on them. We only have five left. Uh, yeah. eight missiles, definitely, definitely, whoa, 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 definitely something we want to take a look at, and, um, you'll notice that we took a lot of extra damage in this one, that's because we're in an asteroid belt, asteroids are randomly going to attack our ship there, so as we wait, yep, yeah, 
been sticking around here, not a great idea. Exactly. So. Is there anywhere we can... Uh... Oh, that's a distress signal. Go check it out. Yeah, we can go ahead and... Um, we can go ahead and... Um, if we find a store, we'll repair up there. So. Um... Okay. Yeah, let's, let's search for the ship. Yeah. We find a decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. We send crew aboard to explore it. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable, but one of the weapons appears salvageable. Cool. The strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Oh dear. All oh, right. Like so, this, you know. choice time, guys. We can either take the weapon and any spare scrap, or we can grab the stasis chamber. I'm going for the stasis chamber. Is that a crew member? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. That sounds valuable. Exactly. We got 15 scrap. Damaged stasis pod. Oh, then that is not a crew member. What is going on there? Damaged stasis pod. This bizarre alien artifact appears to be barely operational. It has no practical function. Perhaps somebody can repair it. Huh. Ooh. That's new. I have not seen that. So we got distress. Yeah, let's go ahead. And, uh, distress usually means we can get goodies, so let's go get goodies. I like goodies. <laughs> Yeah, Zim! We like snacks! <laughs> so you can locate a source of the distress call of a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement, and riot seems likely. Hmm. Alright. So Send it, Randy! <laughs> this is one thing this is one thing that FTL is very, very big on, and is uh, depending on your situation, you will have different options. If I had an NG crew, I would have pretty much a guaranteed success uh, on this mission. Uh, the sending in my crew, it could work. Uh, we could successfully quell it. We could also lose a crew member. Um, and we could also ignore the quest request so we wouldn't get anything. Uh, but we wouldn't lose anything. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to defer to you on this one, Drew. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, let's do it. Let's go for it. All right. All right, with the visible threat of our weapons, the infected become subdued. Uh, however, before you leave, one of our crew presents signs of infection. We have no choice but to leave them on the station. Oh, no. Cover a cure quickly. You leave before more crews succumb. So, we got some stuff. Who did, who did we lose? You. You died. No! Uh, I regret nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you I died yourself. a hero. You sacrificed yourself for the good of that colony. Your, your, They're going to erect a statue of me. Your sacrifice will not have gone in vain. Let's go to the other guy first. <laughs> I kind of deserved that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, alright, so... Banded mining structure? Nothing here. Cool. Moving on. Peace. Door! Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, first things first, fix everything. Uh, mm. All right, so we have a couple a couple cool things here. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to keep this. I wonder what it is. I'm gonna yeah. Keep that for now. Uh, um, it's a shame we don't have 150 because cloaking is absolutely clutch in this game. It Our, certainly seems like it'd be useful. We are, however, going to go ahead and pick up the automated reloader, and... What does that do? That's it. That's going to reduce the cooldown rate for our uh, weaponry. So. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, automated reloader cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 15%. Definitely something you want to have. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our jump. We'll make our jump out of this sector. All right. Um, I think that's a uh, oh. a good place to cut this episode. Oh, oh, not quite. We got time. Let's do it. Yep. Let's roll with it. We'll fit one more fight in. Okay. One thing you're gonna see: this is gonna be an automated drone. They have no air. They're not gonna be worrying about anything like fires. Same tech right. as always. Boot up the Artemis laser. Should happen a little bit faster now because our cooldown rate. And oh, catch! Oh no! Entirely. It's because I'm not there guiding the missiles. Oh. Without you, are nothing. You know what? That is exactly what it is. 
<laughs> Should we send Randy in there? The, the weaponry guy basically uh, improves the accuracy of all the shots and improves the cooldown rate as well. Oh, okay, we have a problem. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead. Uh oh, I've doomed us all. Just end this fight as quickly as possible. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and do this. You're going to send. We're going to send Randy to the med bay real quick. You can use that. We're going to go ahead and send me in to repair. I'll investigate the station. Cool. Anti ship drone Mark II. So we can start using those drones. Oh, is that a drone module? Mm -hmm. So our tactic here, you're going to see my health is going down. Randy's is going up. We're going to take me. We're going to take me. Put Randy in. Oh, I see. Switch him out. Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of management to uh, be done with this game. Okay. All right. Okay. Nope. Go ahead and repair it. So that will just about do it, I guess. Yeah. All right. Next time we make the jump to the next sector. Again.